What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday afternoon. I hope you've had a restful weekend and you are ready to uh, go back to the grind tomorrow. That being said, I just wanted to address a question I got on my last video. Um, didn't really have to do with the CD, the better CD function that I made, but in that, in some of the comments, this gentleman was asking if there was a way to use the Vim keys, you know, H, J, K, and L, to maneuver around in insert mode. Um, his his uh, problem is when he types out something and he has autocomplete on his uh, quotes and stuff and his uh, parentheses that he has to type out what he needs to do. He hits his parentheses, it autocompletes, but then he ha he either has to escape out of insert mode and then use the Vim keys to move over outside the bracket and then go back into insert mode to put his colon, or he has to move his hands off a home row without entering, without uh, exiting insert mode and use the arrow keys to move outside of the parentheses or the brackets to then put his colon. So I think I understood that question correctly. If I didn't, uh, you know who you are, please go ahead and um, let me know if I'm incorrect on that assumption, but I believe that I was talking about. Well, I'm gonna kind of go over a way to address that real quick here, and it is just already in your Vim, um, functionality. So that being said, let's go ahead and launch a terminal. And we are going to clear the screen and we are going to zoom in and let's go into Vim. And if we go into insert mode and if we type in this is a test and then we put the opening and closing bracket there, you can see now when we type, it's all in between the brackets. But if we need to put a colon at the end, if we try to do the colon here or the semicolon here, it's inside the brackets and that's not what we want so our options are either escape so we are not in insert mode anymore use the vim keys and then go back into insert mode and then we can put our colon or, or semicolon there semicolon colon I always get those two confused so don't judge me please <laughs> um, but that's not the most efficient way to do things so if we go back um, again we're still in insert mode and you can see we're between we can take our hands off of home row and we can come down to the arrow keys and we can move outside and then do what we need to do but again the whole point of vim and the vim keys is to be able to keep our hands as stationary as possible no mouse needed no moving our hands off home row you should be able to do everything from right there so vim has baked into it an option and a way to actually do this without um, moving your hands off home row and without exiting um, uh, without exiting insert mode and then using Vim keys. So basically what the gentleman was asking in the video is if there was a way to map like control H, J, K, and L to be able to move the cursor in insert mode. Well, if you only need to move a space, then that's completely unnecessary because Vim comes equipped with this functionality. Basically what we need to do is if we're right here, you can see we're still in insert mode and if we continue to type, we're gonna be in between the brackets well, what we need to do is we need to leave our hands on home row, and if we just come in, we press Control O, and then we use our Vim key, we can move right outside without ever exiting insert mode, and without taking our hands off home row to actually move down to the arrow keys. So, again, let me show you that again. So we'll press, if I tried to use um, my Vim keys to move back inside the parentheses, oh, that just, I, I have my keys mapped to J, K, L, and semicolon as opposed to H, J, K, and L just because that literally doesn't let me move my hands off home row. Um, so J is actually H for me and um, so forth, you know, so, and then K is, is J and L is K and semicolon is L. So instead of H, J, K, and L, I have J, K, L, semicolon. So just so you're aware, if you see me typing and, I, and I'm saying we're using Vim keys, that's why my, my keys look different. But anyway, um, so say I want to go back inside the brackets and I'm in insert mode and I just press J or H, that's just going to type out J for me. But if I press Control O and then press J, that takes me back inside. I never left insert mode and now I can type inside that bracket. Now, same thing. If I want to move outside of it, I would press um, L, but that just gives me that semicolon again. So see L, semicolon. Um, if I press Control O and then press that, we are on, now outside the bracket. I never left insert mode and we can then type what we need to type. So. Again, it's real simple. Um, basically, when you get to where you need to move outside of your bracketry and you don't want to exit insert mode and then move and then go back into insert mode and you don't want to remove your hands from home row to go down to the arrows, you basically press Control O. It'll allow you to do one Vim movement with the H, J, K, and L keys and um, get you outside of the parentheses or the brackets or whatever you need to be outside of and then you can continue on without ever end exiting insert mode and without moving your hands from home row. So I hope this answers this question. I hope this is um, 
uh, what he was talking about. But again, let's show that so we can type. This is the way Ben does things. I can't type today. And then we'll say we'll put, let's say we do quotes. So if we do quotes, and this is in quotes. But now we don't want to type inside the quotes. But every time we do, we can't. And if I press um, L to move outside the quotes or semicolon, in my case, it just types it. So we don't want to do that. So if I press Control O and then I use the semicolon, it'll take me outside and then I can continue typing again. So again, stay in insert mode, press Control O. You can see if you look down here, insert mode goes into parentheses. Um, so that shows you you're in a different form of insert where you can now use your Vim keys one time for one movement. Um, and then it goes right back into normal insert mode for you so you can keep typing. So anyway, I hope this answers his question correctly and I hope this is what he was talking about. If not, again, just I, he knows who I am. He knows how to get in touch with me. Just let me know. And if you weren't aware of this, I hope this helped you out too. So that being said, um, just another cool thing that um, is available in Vim. Uh, I, Vim is very extensive and it has a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, I hope you uh, got some use out of this. and. I hope you can enjoy using Vim even more now. So that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, God bless.